Hey guys, I am Dr. Charnel Wolverton Sihan. It's been a little bit since I've seen you guys and I'm super excited to talk to y'all. There's a lot of things going on and it's been an intense, awesome time in these last bit of time here the last few weeks. Um, those of you, if you can please share, I'm gonna be going over a few things that I've pieced together uh, regarding frequency hopping, a dream regarding Bob Jones, um, this new moon, the supernova, um, lots of different things I'm piecing together so you guys can all hopefully tag your friends and your people and we can like put something together so we can figure out what all this means where we are now. Hey Billy and Brittany and all y'all please tag your people, hey Jessica. So um, basically this has been a pretty um, intense couple weeks for me and um, I'm looking at it more like a Rosh Hashanah kind of deal. Uh, I normally do Rosh Hashanah during Rosh Hashanah, but I guess I'm doing my own little deal early here this time. It's just been a, a real awesome time of studying and fasting and praying, and I'm going to continue on um, at least intermittent fasting, if not even more, um, just all day fasting. I just came off a, a three and a half day fast and then intermittent fast um, on this last two days. But And there's just been a lot of putting things together and co collecting things not to mention the things that are going on in the physical as well and uh, you know Bob Jones would talk about the moon being a reflection of the Lord us being the church and when you have a full moon ever um, that's an an opportunity and it's an invitation for us to really fully uh, remember and remind remember and remind us fully being that reflection of God I am and us fully going out and um, you know I gave a word a couple days ago if you want to go back and scroll talking about this new moon and please go back and look at it because uh, it's there's some significant things that are shifting right now the energy and everything on the earth is changing uh, the opportunities to stay in love are there and as we do uh, you guys are going to see a lot of different shifts within your own life restored relationships um, being having opportunity uh, in your business in your ministries new uh, relationships new uh, new business things new miracles new healings quick things happening here especially in this next two days but honestly for those who choose to go with the flow and actually step in in a pure heart and doing the things of the Lord and remembering the things of God and staying pure then this is a super super awesome opportunity um, let's talk about a few things and break this down. First of all, I want to go into uh, an old video. I'm going to share the link here in a bit about watching your heart or guarding your heart. When that scripture, when I've looked at it in the past, is very different than when I've looked at it here recently. And I have a whole video, which I'll share the link on what it means to watch your heart or guard your heart. The scripture actually says, watch your heart or guard your heart for it in all diligence for out of it flows the wellspring of life. Um, when I've looked at this in the past, I've looked at guarding something, especially your heart, as me protecting me, me covering this because maybe something could get me on the outside. Now that I, I mean, I've been in the quantum physics realm for years and I'm really looking at everything from the aspect of science and spirit together and the marriage of those two because God is the biggest scientist of all. He created everything. He created the cosmos. And so when I looked at the actual text of what it says in the, in the um, Strong's, it says, guard your heart or watch over is the actual uh, observe and to watch. So be careful. Be mindful of your heart. Um, and that heart, the word heart, is the 3820 in the Strong's, which means your inner man. Watch your inner man. Watch your willpower is another um, another word for that. Because your will is stronger than spirit. You can actually override God. You can, your spirit, uh, your will is 400,000 times stronger than spirit. So God does not, you know, he didn't make us to be robots. He, he made us with free will. And so this scripture is saying, hey, watch your free will with due diligence, watch your heart, watch your inner man, 
um, with due diligence. Diligence meaning um, that word actually is the 4929, which means to guard the deposit or the signal within. Now that's very key. Watch this later. But so guard your heart, guard your inner man, guard or observe your inner man, your willpower, and your will with due diligence. You know, the guard that deposit, watch that deposit, watch that signal, for it is the outflow, and that word outflow spring is the 8444, which is um, an outgoing signal, an outgoing source of life. An out, and, and it even says in one place to escape, an outside escaping of something out of your heart. It's the 8444. So let me break that down real quick and I'll give you um, that. But basically it's saying watch your heart. Watch your inner man. Watch your own willpower, your choices. Watch what you're doing. Watch what you say. Watch what you think. Do all the things to watch and to be careful with diligence. Diligence also comes from disciple or discipline. Be a good disciple. Watch yourself. Be a reflection of him because out of the heart is the outgoing signal of life that's going out. You are letting that escape. That signal is escaping out. Now, let's look at this on a biocode level, okay? We all know that the heart is the most electric part of the body and it, whatever you think on, whatever you're talking about, whatever you're feeling is going to go out in a code. Through your heart, it's going to go through all your body and all your cells. It's going, that code, that generated code, is going to come out through your, all your cells. It affects all your cells in your body. And then it also goes about 15, 20 inches, 10 to 15 inches out here in your bio code. Whatever's in your bio code and whatever's in your heart, you get a match to it. Because that code is electric and that code is magnetic. So when you're out and about doing your daily, doing the things... Whatever you're thinking about, you will bring to you. Whatever you're thinking about, talking about, and feeling, you're definitely bringing it to you like a magnet. Just imagine that. And I have plenty of videos on this. If you guys please just bear with me. And so, if we're thinking about positive things, then we get positive things. Whatever we are, we get. And there's scriptures that talk about, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Right? And it also says, we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against. Pretension means imagination. We demolish arguments and every imagination that sets itself up against the knowledge of God or truth. And we take captive every thought that doesn't line up with the knowledge of God and we make it obedient to Him. Because, yeah. So going back to guarding your heart, it's not a let's, let's protect this from something that's going to get me. God is saying, hey, I know the way I made the universe. I know I, the way I made you. And I'm asking you to please watch over this and this and this because that's sending out a signal that's going out into the biofield and you're going to bring back whatever you put out there. You're sending out a signal and you're going to magnetize that by the law of attraction, which is science. You're going you're gonna to bring that back into your code. You're back into your field. That code's going to come back to you. And so we got, this is a serious time, and that's just one thing. So let me jump to uh, this other thing. Amy, I mean, um, Hedy Lamar, a famous, famous actress back in the day. You guys Google her. She wasn't just a pretty face. She was an Australian-American act actress, but I've just watched some amazing videos on her. Um, some documentaries, because I'm a bit of a documentary freak. Uh, ask anybody who knows me. I'm pretty much on any down day, any time available, I'm watching documentaries. So that's just my thing. So I'm watching her because she's actually a scientist too, and she invented frequency hopping. What is frequency hopping? Well, I'll tell you, because I know you want to know, don't you? So back in the day, uh, submarines would shoot at other submarines. By the way, can you just tag everyone you know right now down here? Tag and share this right now because people got to hear this. This is important, especially right now with the new moon and these things. And I'm going to get all this together, but maybe people can't be live at this very minute. But if you could please tag and share this. This is super important to every person on the planet. So, Hedy Lamar, she 
was working with the government because the government at the time was in the process of war shooting at submarines and what they, you know, is pretty much we're going to aim and we hope something lands and we hope to blow up stuff. And um, she figured out that if we could tune in to the frequency of that su submarine, then we could lock into that sound and that code. We, we could dial our code to that code and we could not miss, basically. We could shoot and it would be 100%. And so this went, this is crazy. Hey, Brett. This is crazy uh, new technology for us to be able to have this because basically when we shot, you know, we weren't just wasting, uh, which I'm not promoting war, but I'm saying if you're going to, you know, shoot the bad guy or whatever, then you want to hit and you want to take the enemy out. Not me personally, I'm just saying, in this specific situation. Um, so she comes up with this deal to tune in to what's going on to that specific submarine and or any submarines in the neighborhood. And they could figure out with a scanner and a radio how to lock in to that signal. And then we, we would turn our um, weapons or whatever to to concentrate on that signal and it would find it no matter if it made a turn slightly to the left or to the right which makes a big deal when you're a submarine you know you make a little bit off course thing and it's a big shift uh you know when you're trying to shoot at something and it turns you may miss it so this is a way that nobody would miss and so this was super classified and you know they were using this information well then it turned out everybody got a hold of this information and so Everyone was able to lock in on everybody. Well, that's not going to win. That's not a win. So she came up with something even better. She came up with something where we could scramble the surroundings of what we were as a submarine or, or our, ourselves in whatever vehicle. And we could scramble our frequency so they weren't able to lock in to our frequency and they couldn't shoot at us. We were like hidden. Definitely please share and tag this. This is super important. So, um, and I'm going to jump forward here. Um, another thing I want you guys to Google and check out. I just saw another documentary maybe a month or two ago about supernovas. And what is it about a supernova that's somehow lining up with what we're talking about today? Supernovas are basically ginormous stars that that shoot out and radiate, 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 but also suck in, magnetize, and then there's this constant turning of like taking in and pushing out, taking in and pushing out. And interestingly enough, I find this super cool, uh, is they are always connected to a larger star where they're, that is their source or that's their energy. And so as they're connected, they're able to do these things where they're pushing things out and taking things in. And it's just this exchange of taking in and pushing out. So what does this mean? Okay, let's, if we know that the heart is most electric and it's sending out a signal that we should be aware of, awake of, remembering, um, choosing to be mindful and aware of our inner man and our will of what code we're sending out. Um, if you want to connect it to the submarine situation or even with the Nova thing, a let's all be con let's be connected full on with the source. Let's let's remember source code in here, and remember I am that I am. Let's remember I am love. I am shalom. I am power. I am peace. I am all the things. And so as we um, as we can tap into these things that are on the outside, you know, we are a mini universe and within us, we have trillions of cells that are also mini universes and we can look at what's going on in nature and whatever. And some of these things, and we can apply it to where we are now too, because we are all supernovas a and B um, going back to the scrambling. Here's the deal. And in, in order to scramble the bio code of the submarine, they had to frequency hop. Meaning they had to constantly tune in to different codes like all the time to keep it scrambled so no one could lock in on anything outside, right? It was constantly scrambled. 
Um, when that scrambling happened, there was almost like a force field that would go around the uh, the submarine that wouldn't allow anything to lock in because it was changing so fast and so quickly. Frequency hopping. And what I'm saying to you and what I'm choosing for you to understand and to apply is we can use the same technique. And we do, whether you like it or not, whether you're aware of it or not. We are drawing in what we put out, whether it's good or bad. And um, if your focus is on fear and not having the bill cancel, and that's like, I hope I can get the bill. I don't have the money for the bill. I hope da, 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 da. Energy doesn't give a crap if you mean it or if you're just thinking about it. It can't tell the difference between what your imagination is and what is real. And if you're always constantly in a state of fearful of what something could happen, then it doesn't matter. Your subconscious says, this must really be important. So I'm going to, this code's going out. And we're going to bring a match. And you don't get anywhere. You just stay in that spot. But if you can imagine something outside as if it already happened and stay there, then you also get a match to that. And that's where miracles come to you, healings come to you, all of those things come to you because your imagination sets up a code, active imagination, the, 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 the mind of Christ. When we have that mind of Christ and we think about what Christ would think and what Christ would say and what Christ would feel and have Christ consciousness then and we outcome map even or whatever we have to do to keep in those decrees, keep in those mindsets, have the mind of Christ um, as a man is so in his, as, a, in, as a man thinks in his heart so is he as we're there and determined with all remembering and all love and all mindfulness, mindfulness of God, the mindfulness of God, that code goes out. And if you remember, I am, I am, love is equal to God. Um, God is love. And I am not saying that you're God. I'm not saying I'm God. I'm saying that God is love. And when we are love, that is a super high vibe. And when we think about love, talk about love, and when we choose to stay in love, and when I say stay in love, I'm saying that Peter and scriptures you know, Jesus said, who do you say I am? And Peter was like, it's, you know, you're the Messiah. And he's like, yay, you got it. You couldn't have got that anyone by except for Holy Spirit. And then two, three sentences later, he had to tell the same Peter, get behind me, Satan. Okay. Um, which isn't even the real text. It really means stop thinking that, that form of thought. That's, you know, um, lay down that thought form. It's not true. And so we have to really be disciplined of what's going on up here. Because whatever's going on up here, we're talking about, we're feeling, that's going out in the code. And if, here's the, here's the really cool part. If love is the key, which it is, because the royal law is love, according to Bob Jones, according to the Bible, according to Jesus, all the things. The royal love, love is over all the commandments. Um, God is love, and that is the key. Royal, the royal law is love. And when we have love and everything comes out of love, whether it's what you're thinking, talking about, or feeling, the way you're inter, you know, talk, interacting with other people, all the things, as we're doing that, love is all the things of God. God, Because God is love. So think about what all the things God is. God is shalom. He is peace. He is harmony. He is um, provision. He is power. He is might. Well, guess what? That's frequency hopping. Because yes, God is love, but God is so many things. Go study I am and know all the things that he is. That is a frequency hop like ridiculous because God I am are so many things. And God and you, love, can be so many things that that frequency is shifting, changing to all the things that he is because he's everything. That's where you get the biofield that's so scrambled that you cannot magnetize anything except for those things. So it keeps up a biofield of protection. That's where really, truly, truly Psalms 91 is, where we are hidden, where you can actually give your address to the worst guy on the planet and he will not find you because you are hidden in him. You are staying in the safety of the scrambled God I am biofield bio that surrounds you or your family, or whatever you choose, and you could just walk around and only only magnetize and attract all the things that are God. The, all the miracles, 
all the health, all of the, all the things, all the great things that God is. And so that's really important. So, you know, can, did I say share and tag? Definitely share and tag. Okay. Let's talk about where this is for us right now. And please go look at my old video, which I'll tag. And also please go look at what I just posted about the new moon. We're in a new moon. As Bob would say, a new moon is a new opportunity to reflect all the things of God more than ever, 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 which would include an awesome scrambled freaking biofield. So you are staying in complete security and sovereignty of who he is and what he is. Um, Cause that's your inheritance, by the way. That's what you get just because you're alive and know him. It's not that, you know, you have to earn it or do anything. You just get to be him out of the purity of who you are and remembering and taking that discipline to make sure you're not going two steps forward, one step back with your thoughts, your words, and your actions. Like, let's stay. Let's stay in love and keep that code up, you know. So, but with the new moon and as we start to really put the dots together of frequency hopping, supernovas, guarding our heart, which isn't really guarding, but it's just observing and remembering and keeping discipline over what we're putting out as a signal. Um, then I, I hope that you can connect the dots. The last thing I'm going to say is I was visited by Bob Jones in a dream. And one of the things that he said to me in the dream was don't drink the wine. Don't drink the wine. And so I was like, don't drink the wine, like physically don't drink alcohol. Is that what you're saying? Because Bob definitely did not drink alcohol. And he said, no. He said, what I'm saying is do not entertain or engage in lower frequencies. This is out of Bob's mouth. And he talked a lot about that when he was on the planet. And, you know, in some ways he still is very much on the planet. And, um, and we get to practice these things. We get to hear you know what god is still saying through dreams visions and and all the things that he is in consciousness and so when when bob came and said don't drink the wine and clarified by saying don't engage in lower frequencies he's saying stay in love stay in the god code say stay in source code because in that place of staying in source code is where we are in Psalms 91 and where we get to scramble the whole biofield by being all the things that he is and to and by pushing that out not only being it and having ourselves experience all those things and our uh, our organs and whatever but also by putting that out to your world so they can engage in God and love and healing and miracles and all those things and at the very same time, keeping your own sovereignty and your own epic love for, for your field, which is completely secure. And again, you could give your freaking address to 10 billion bounty hunters and no one would be able to find you. Because you'd be in a scrambled state where you're invisible. You are hidden. You are his. You are hidden in him like the vine. And so I really do hope that you get what I'm saying. Um... I have some more things that I care to share about over the next bit. Again, I, I give you this. I give you an invitation right now. Th this new moon is an open invitation for all of us to truly take some time to fast and pray. To take some time to jump in and remember, remind, remember, wait, remember, remind, focus, stay, do the things, do only the things of God, keep that discipline, stay in discipleship, do the things that would only send out service, love, peace, harmony by all of our actions, by all of our thoughts. And if you have anything that comes into your mind that is less than love, then immediately the greatest way to get rid of it is to replace it with something else. And I have certain decrees that I use because this is a this is the thing right here like we got to stay in love right here more than anywhere and i whether it's scripture or your own personal decrees i have some things like only god touches me only god sees me only god hears me um these are some that i've worked with with uh, robert tennyson robert tennyson stevens who i adore um i am that i am i am that i am i am that i am or i am the ascended jesus christ's meaning his 
permanent light, love, and victory already attained in my business, in my ministry, in my health, in my family, in my harmonious family. Um, some other things are, um, gosh, I choose to know. I'll have to list some here below, but I'm going to list you the other link to the last video. Please scroll down and check. Um, what I posted about this new moon. Please remember, hey, don't drink the wine, guys. This is a time to stay high vibe. This is a time to, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. That means what you're eating, what you're drinking, and all things, meaning what you post on Facebook, who you're listening to, what you're reading, what you're watching on TV, what music you got going on, uh, what you're engaging and entangling in. Because television itself, I mean, Bob used to say uh, that it was a, a medium for low frequency. And as we're watching this stuff, you know, it can entice and shift your energy to low frequency. It could get you entangled and, to, and even into fear because you watch a bunch of fearful things, then your heart is fearful, your mind is fearful, you start putting that code out and you get a match. It just like um, it was Job who said he, everything that he was afraid of came upon him. Because what you are, you get. This is this is the biggest thing, you guys. This is so big because if everything we are, we get. That can be used against us. Do you understand that there are there are people out there with agendas that are using this against us because they know the power of creation. They know the power in you to create what they want you to create. So they can get together with all the media gurus, set up commercials about all the sicknesses that you have, cancel. They can set up all the commercials and all the TV shows and all the movies and all the video games out there to get you into fear and to get you programmed into all the things that you, they choose for you to program. So those are your thinking. That you're brainwashed. That's how you're thinking and that's what you're feeling and that's what your focus is on. And what you focus on, you make room for and you create and you get matches to. So if the planet is in fearful about 9-11 happening again, guess what? You guys, we have to stay in love. We have to keep the focus. Turn off the freaking TV. Turn off the news. If there's something negative, why engage? And most of it is not even factual, not even real. It's what they want you to watch. It's called programming for a reason. And I have a whole CD on this because... It says, tell a vision, television. Whose vision are you watching? Whose vision are you engaging in? What is it that you're thinking upon? Because you actually start creating what you're fearful of, like Job did. And they use you to create this stuff on the earth, whether it's, I don't even want to go there. Natural catastrophes, uh, or stuff in government, or all the things. They get you to create it for them because they know on a creative consciousness level one person can create but you put way more together and it's a thousand to fight right and the negative and the positive so as we can all focus together on positive things what what about the massive things that we can engage with on Facebook as we are do, I'm gonna put a couple more links in here um, just about the power of multiplication of of your of the alignment of the witnesses here the heart the mouth and the mind and by you doing that of your even with your simple posts on Facebook how this can be extremely beneficial or super freaking harmful so I love you and I adore you and I choose for you life more abundant I choose for you healing I choose well, I'm gonna cry I choose love for you Every moment of every second of every day, I choose divine healing for you. And you are going to see some things that you've never seen before on the planet in your personal life as you use these things and apply these things and shift these things. And I'm telling you, fasting is a great way to detox super fast, whether it's a Facebook fast or a TV fast or a all the things fast, food fast, do a liquid fast, detox your body and your cells so you get clarity and you can see and hear and connect on different levels. Now, this is a open invitation right now in this season, especially with the moon just a, a day and a half ago. There, there's a window here of opportunity for you to set your intentions, set your energy to God and to stay permanently. And I choose to be there. I choose to remember him more than I ever have and to walk him out 
meaning be his hands and feet, to be his mind, to be his eyes, to be his mouthpiece, to feel what he feels, and to make choices moment to moment, not just day to day, but moment to moment that reflect him and that carry out the source code in my field and in my world. And as we do this with a collective consciousness, as we do this together as one, we can do so much together. So please, I'm asking you to share this, to tag. Uh, I will put in the other links here too so you have them, but this is a very important invitation. Send this and tag whoever you choose to really grab hold of this revelation and to really connect with Source right now to see the, the miracles required on the planet in this moment. You yourself have miracles required in your family, in your marriages, in your health. You yourself, if you, if you have anything that you are open for something more of who he is and this is, a, this is an open invitation to step into that remembrance and that reminding time more than ever. So I love you. I adore you. Keep scrambling. Stay in Psalms 91. Stay in love. Stay in God. I am love. Stay sovereign. Stay secure. Be to be or not to be, there's a whole video on that. This is your invitation time to put down the wine and to, to focus on source code. No more drinking the wine. No more engaging in the lower frequencies. And watch what happens in you and your whole family and your whole world. All right, I love you. Take care. Share and tag this with everyone you know. I love you. Bye.